Rangers for the third time against Hearts at Ibrox. Ugo Ehiog in for his Rangers debut, but Hearts leaving out Craig Gordon and Paul Hartley amid speculation that both players could be sold this week. Carl Svensson dropped to the bench to allow Ehiog to team up with David Weir in central defence for Rangers. Libor Sionko was back in the midfield with Chris Burke benched despite signing a new contract last week. Chris Boyd in his 50th match for Rangers, chasing his 38th goal. Stevie Banks continued in goals for Hearts with Craig Gordon in the stand. Driver in for Hartley with Roman Bednar replacing Jamie Mole. Your commentator at Ibrox is Archie McPherson. Well now just touched past and Banks blocked it. David Weir will always hobble. Uh, hobble in the penalty area like that. He might have gone for it with a head had he been just slightly closer, had to use his foot. And Banks had to make sure about that. Boyd putting that through, Barry Ferguson on the run. And just over Sciocco. Good move by Rangers, and to be fair to Sionko, it wasn't the best of surfaces he was running on there. There might have been a, a little bauble of the ball as it came to him. Chased there by David Weir. Just past Balika getting in. Picked that up very well. Using that for Zikafis to fend off Weir and the shot was weak. Moving in very hard that time. Sionka tried to get there. Charlie had him with his right foot. Not the stronger of his two feet, of course, and it fallen to the left. I think that may have counted, but he took it well. It came too quickly, and he went for it instinctively in a very good position there. Charlie Adam, neatly out to the side, now Ferguson attacking. Hutton's on the far side, beautiful ball to Hutton. Oh, oh dear. Well, now, was that offside, or were the players inside there? Good run forward by Hutton on the right side. He did the right thing coming forward now. Here it is again. Hutton is there, and I think it's Boyd in the middle. He was offside. Very interesting game, this. Not the highest quality of football, and Boyd tries to get into it. There it is, just there, off away. So close that time. Sionko getting right into the middle of the penalty area. There was a header up there. Ekio tried to get in. And that goes down as a miss. That was a very good chance, you know, when you see it coming out of that rock of players. Certainly the attention of Mikel Lunas might have just put him off here. Charlie Adam still there. Adam trying to go up, tries to put it in, and Boyd can't put it away. The Hearts defence just surviving. Beautiful play by Adam on this side. Lovely little flick on. And as that was played, they look at Boyd coming in, and they have just survived. Thank you all, powerful header there. Up goes Natchenovo. Once again, an offside. That's been a busy man across there. The offsides are now into double figures. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Not sure about that one. And that's slack again by Nachinobo. Here's Driver. Plays that to the side. And well over by Driver that time as Velika tried to send it back for him. And I think Driver's been one of the best players in the field. He's been in there, set that up, came in to get the return, and just take it away. That's good tackling there by David Weir. On to Charlie Adam. 
good. Danny Ferguson, he might get there. Goalkeeper came out. Adam. Oh, not a very good one. But all was made for the goalkeeper, that. That was a lovely move again by Rangers. But Ferguson making the running just slightly overhead. He had to go wide. Now he scored a goal against the D United like that with a run. That's cut off by Nacionovo. Where he goes, he's got Chris Buck there. Still Nacionovo now, Buck. Finds it in, it's there! Barry Ferguson! And there's offside. The flag is up, it's offside. It looked as if Ferguson had put the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful run by Noble, then Buck. Here he goes again. And as the ball is played in, he is offside. No question about it. Ecky will go away with it. There's a run now, Sebo. And it goes, and that's a no ball. And the crowd are rising to this. That goal was rightly disallowed for offside. But at least they had hearts on the rack. And seldom have they done that this afternoon. Good defending again by hearts. Ferguson Adam chips that over Barry Ferguson brilliantly saved but he's off time great great save that but he was in an offside position played out here good play by Rangers trying to unzip this defence, and again, good running forward by Ferguson in this match. You know, there wasn't much in the game when we were edge the first half in terms of opportunities, but, uh, you know, on either side creating a lot of clear-cut chances. Um, second half, we started to pressure a bit more, and as the game went on, uh, you know, pinned Tarps back into the penalty area and had, you know, a goal disallowed and, you know, one or two things, again, without, you know, creating maybe clear-cut chances as such, but we had all the pressure and uh, was to no avail in the end, but I don't think we can fault uh, anybody at Rangers for effort and, uh, and determination you know, throughout the 90 minutes. Performance was, you know, uh, was uh, maybe not so, not so uh, beautiful and nice like, like, uh, like uh, against Celtic uh, first half, but you know, the uh, first is uh, we play here at Ibrox, a uh, long time we don't we won here and uh, pitches was not so great, but okay, it's, uh, same situation from both teams. Uh, I'm happy with one point, yeah. You mentioned the goal disallowed, I've spoken to the assistant, he says a yard. I didn't see it as a yard, how did you see it from the technical area? Well, very difficult to judge from, from that area and that angle. Um, I would say I'd be very surprised if anybody could have got you know, beyond the ball at that stage, you know, um, the ball out to Chris Burke and it was um, quite a, he played his cross in fairly early. Um, I, personally, I couldn't see that uh, anybody could have gotten an offside position from there, but um, that's the linesman's judgment and um, we have to go with that. And disappointing uh, because it was a good move and, and probably the best, most incisive we had um, in the whole game. We'll have a look at that disallowed.